do you all know about article 142 of the indian constitution c deals with extraordinary powers of supreme court why this is currently in talk c recently the supreme court invoked its extraordinary powers under the article 142 of the indian constitution and upheld the employees pension amendment scheme 2014 to know more about article 142 stay tuned first of all let's start with what this article 142 says C talks about the enforcement of decrees and order of the Supreme Court that is during its exercise of jurisdiction the Supreme Court may pass a decree or order that is necessary for doing complete justice in any case or matter pending before it and this decree or order shall be enforceable throughout the Indian territory thus this article helps the Supreme Court a unique power to do complete justice between the parties for example a parliamentary law made with respect to this kind of supreme court's order can secure the attendance of any person the discovery or production of any documents or the investigation or punishment of any contempt of itself with this basics now let us learn the background of the extraordinary power of supreme court see this article 142 was originally numbered as article 118 in the draft constitution developed by the drafting committee and note that it was framed from the article 210 of the government of india act 1935 with a slight modification and it was passed without debate in the constituent assembly this is because everyone agreed to guarantee judicial independence to the nation's highest court that is the supreme court this is about the background now let's see how this article 142 is being used firstly it allows supreme court to supersede the executive and legislative branches here the supreme court will use the power guaranteed under article 142 to act as a legislator yes they have the power to struck down certain provisions or the amendment provisions of the act or rules secondly this article 142 is complemented by several articles first is article 32 see talks about right to constitutional remedies here through article 32 citizens can seek for enforcement of rights either in supreme court or high court so for enforcement of rights Supreme Court through article 142 can provide a complete justice then article 141 which says that the Supreme Court's decision shall be binding on all courts within India as we all know that the article 142 is an extraordinary power of the Supreme Court to enforce its orders or decree and when article 141 comes in it is an add-on to Supreme Court to ensure the enforcement then comes article 136 which talks about the special you petition now what does this special you petition mean see a special you petition hold a prime place in the indian judicial system because it provides the aggrieved party a special permission to be heard in apex court in appeal against any judgment or order of any court or tribunal in the indian territory thus we can say that this helps or complements the supreme court to use its powers referred as in the article 142 that is the enforcement of order or decree then we can say that the enforcement of supreme court's order is a kind of judicial activism now what does this term judicial activism means see it is the exercise of the power of judicial review to set aside government acts that is the supreme court has frequently overridden laws that has been passed by the parliament in order to provide complete justice for example take the ban on liquor sale on highways case Yes, in the year 2016, the Supreme Court under Article 142 made it illegal to sell alcohol within 500 meters of the highways outside edge. This decision was made to avoid accidents caused by drunk driving. So, this is an example of using extraordinary powers by the Supreme Court under Article 142. I hope now you could be able to understand the Article 142. Now, we will see the scope of this Article 142. Though Article 142's powers are broad, the Supreme Court has clarified their scope and extent over time in its various decisions. Firstly, Article 142 does not give the Supreme Court the power to contravene with the Article 32. Then, Article 142 is only of supplementary nature. This means that the Supreme Court cannot substitute any substantial law or create something new which never was in existence. So, these are all some of the scope of Article 142. Now, let's see the advantages of Article 142. Firstly, whenever the executive or legislature fails to defend people's rights and uphold constitutional ideals, the judiciary has used its power under Article 142. Then, as the constitutional protector, Article 142 gives Supreme Court the capacity to fill statutory gaps. Then the Article 142 also establishes a system of checks and balances for the government's other branches. For instance, 
the supreme court established a norms to safeguard a woman from sexual harassment at workplace see the norms were established in the case law of vishaga versus state of rajasthan then in the bandwa mukti morcha case the supreme court of india handed down a landmark verdict on india's bond and labor system so these are all some of the advantages but the article 142 has some disadvantages as well firstly the supreme court's power under article 142 is not accountable see the executive and legislature are always accountable to their actions right but the power of supreme court under article 142 is not accountable to the people then the majority of petitions or appeals brought before the supreme court are frequently rejected see in this case also the supreme court is not required to explain why the petitions are rejected then the public faith in the government's integrity quality and efficiency can be eroded by frequent court interference so these are all some of the advantages of article 142 i hope now you could able to understand about article 142 its scope uses and some of the advantages and disadvantages see these type of topics are very important in the mains perspective to learn more topics like this watch hindu news analysis of shankar ais academy regularly thank you